Hello, I'm Jamla Masaiva, an international social etiquette consultant and author of Etiquette Books. Etiquette, the least you need to know, and afternoon tea etiquette. If you would like to order my books, you can do so directly through my website. I'll link it here as well in the description box below. If you are a new viewer on my channel, here I talk about etiquette, soft skills, self-development. I produce all kinds of educational videos. If you're interested in that, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back to my channel. I'm delighted to see you here. If you're someone who is really adamant about etiquette and interested in learning deeper about etiquette, you can join my online Western Dining Etiquette from A to Z that is available directly on my website, as well as join my Patreon Etiquette Movie Club, where every month I do an etiquette analysis of a chosen movie. So far, I've done over 20 different kind of movies, and when joining the Etiquette Movie Club, you'll be able to view all the movies that were published before and everything that's coming new. In today's video, I'll talk about hand gestures, in particular, how to properly use your hands when you are speaking, how to take care of them, and also show you some exercises, how to learn to improve your hand gestures. The most important thing I want to address before getting into the tips of learning about hand gestures is that it was a common belief back in the days that an elegant woman would not use any hand gesture. We're supposed to sit straight and not use our hands and talk like that. But the truth is, over time, we've realized that some of the most powerful technique when it comes to impressing someone with your speech, with the delivery, with being a good public speaker, is using appropriate hand gestures. So this is something that was a myth and today that myth is busted. Hand gestures are important and it's important to know how to use them properly. First things first, when it comes to hand gestures, that the most important thing is taking good care of your hands. I've done an entire video on YouTube about nail etiquette and, and how to take good care of your hands. So when it comes to learning to use your hands, you have to be confident in how they look so you can be free in exposing them. Oftentimes some people bite their nails or their cuticles and they feel not so comfortable disposing them to other people so they tend to hide their hands. But we want to impress others with our hands and how well we take care of them. So for that, make sure that your hands are always clean, that your nails are well trimmed. You don't have to have, you know, really long nails to just take care of them. Even the short nails need cleaning. You have to make sure that the cuticles are cleaned completely, that there is no bleeding around your fingers. That usually happens when people bite their nails or rip off their cuticles. Make sure that you moisturize your hands. So for me, because my hands are part of my delivery, so when I am delivering a presentation, a lecture, I always expose my hands. So this is my work material and I have to make sure that I maintain a good hygiene and grooming of my hands. Apart from getting manicure uh, on a monthly basis, I always make sure that I carry around a hand cream. I have a hand cream in my bag at all times, in my office, I have a hand cream on my bed stand, everywhere pretty much. I buy all different kinds of hand creams. My favorite one is one by Chanel that I've shown a lot in other videos as well. You see them often on my Instagram, but this is also one of the really great flavored uh, by Ivoire, a Swiss brand. Um, so what I love about it, it has a really nice scent and it's really good at moisturizing. So even when I'm working, I have a hand cream next to me. So anytime I feel like my hands are dry, I make sure to moisturize them. Because even if you have a great manicure, but your hands are dry, uh, the the skin around your nails is going to look dry. Once you have moisturized them, they're always going to look much more prepped for you to expose it for everyone else to see. Next thing when it comes to getting comfortable with hand gestures is warming up. So if you're a public speaker, you have to warm up your vocal cords. If you're a singer, you have to warm up your vocal cords. If you're a soccer player, you have to warm up your body or any other athlete. So warm up is an important part of getting comfortable with, with the movement. So hand gestures for someone who is not very comfortable or he hasn't been accustomed to using hand gestures. And even for those that find their hands to be very stiff when they're taking a picture of their hand or when you're about to deliver a speech, you find that it's difficult for you to incorporate your hands. 
I would suggest you to try warming up your hands. So these are the set of exercises that our first grade teacher used to make us do once we were you know writing for a whole dime and our hands would get so stiff because it wasn't used to holding a pen so tight she would make us stand up and the, the set of exercises that would help us warm up and relax our hands so then we could continue writing more so what you have to do is stand up you could do it even seated down take a, put your hands out and then start by rolling your wrists so relaxing your wrists is essential because if we want to have nice hand gestures we have to have relaxed wrists and then she would make us open and close our fingers like that so you would do it a little bit more dramatically so that we can feel the blood pumping the circulation going on then she would make us put our hands together like that and then create a wave so the bigger or <laughs> the wave would be the better it is for the exercise so if you continue doing this kind of exercise that will help relax your hands sometimes when i'm taking a picture and i'm trying to pose with my hand holding a cup which you know i've been doing uh, a whole series of gm hands and cups is the series i've created on instagram with a hashtag Whenever I'm taking a picture, sometimes I feel like my hand is very stiff. It's not realistic the way I'm holding a cup. I start doing this exercise, I open and close my fingers, I start relaxing my wrist, and then I go back to placing my hand. And then I see that the hand gesture is much softer and much more feminine. So that is a trick that I'm teaching you. You can try it for yourself and see if it works for you too. The third important tip when it comes to hand gestures is learning the hand gestures that go according to the message that you're sending or using the hand gestures that are there adjacent to what you're saying that are there to amplify what you're saying so just to give an example if i'm saying to amplify to increase and i'm using this hand gesture also pointing the rise Whenever I'm saying amplify and increase and using this hand gesture, you're getting the message in two ways. You're seeing it visually, but you're also listen, hearing it. So the message becomes amplified. Say I'm saying the number of students are growing. Okay, now I say the number of students are growing. See how much more the emphasis is now on growth. So learn the hand gestures that help you amplify whatever you are saying. If you want to say decrease, you'll hand gesture to the to the your hand downwards, showing that something is declining, is decreasing, is going down. Um, say you want to say you know to draw boundaries, to separate, to distance. If you're using this hand gesture together with what you are saying, you're helping your message to be heard both verbally and visually. In fact, a lot of NLP trainers are teaching nowadays this particular technique of incorporating hand gestures that help you deliver the message better. When you talk without any hand gestures, after a while, it feels like you're not being genuine. It feels like you're not feeling what you're saying. A lot of our passion comes from our body language and a lot of things are said with body rather than words. And hand gestures are a huge part of body language. Therefore, hand gestures should never be overlooked. Learn to get comfortable with hand gestures and learn to use the hand gestures that help increase your message. Speaking of hand gestures, the next important thing to remember is learn which hand gestures are offensive to which culture. It is important that we get comfortable with hand gestures, but it's equally important that we understand that certain hand gestures that are considered okay in your culture or in your country might be completely offensive in another. Some of the most innocent, so to speak, at one glance, a hand gesture can be completely detrimental to another culture's viewpoint. So learn, I'm not going to show you, of course, in this video, the hand gestures, but you can Google them and see which hand gestures are considered offensive. And what you can do is completely eliminate those hand gestures so they're not even in your body language vocabulary. The next important tip that you need to know about hand gestures is whenever you are uncomfortable and sure of what to do with your hands, and I get this question a lot, what do I do with my hands? Occupy them with something. For ladies, it's a lot more easier than for men because ladies, we always carry a bag with ourselves. And hence, having a bag is a great way to occupy your hands. What you can do is you can wrap your hands around your back, hold it in front, you can move your back to your left hand, hold it like that. 
when we're out and about, you know, at a networking event where there are drinks served, we can use a drink to occupy our hand. Hence, when one of the hands is occupied, we are more comfortable with letting the other hand just lightly be loosely by our side. Oftentimes, people get confused what to do when both of the hands are free. Some people opt of placing their inside their pockets, which is something you should never do. You look unapproachable, you look someone that's not genuine, that's hiding something. It's not a good impression to be made. So what you do is you place your hands by your side out of your pocket. For ladies, if you're in doubt, if you're nervous, if you don't know what to do with your hands, you can always use the bath to occupy them. Now I'll show you three different hand gestures that look very feminine and very elegant from the side that you can practice while listening to someone or uh, when you're out and about. So the first thing is called a hand clasp. You can see that a lot that I do in the videos. What you do is you put your hands together like that and wrap them very gently. You don't have to do it stiffly because then your skin is going to red and white like that. You do it very gently, just wrap them around and just lay it flat here on the table if you're listening to someone. So hence your palm, your hands are visible, not your palms, but your hands are visible and you look very delicate. You can also place them on your lap like that while listening to someone, you know, deliver a speech or if you're at dinner, it always looks very nice. The next thing that you can do is you can gently tap the fingertips of your hand like that, uh, very gently. This is actually a gesture that's often used um, to convey an image of an open person, of a trustable person. Um, it is usually taught for a lot of public speakers to place their hands like this um, to convey openness. But basically, whenever your palms are visible, it means that you are someone who is open and someone who could be trusted. So this is the way we perceive a person when we're able to see the insides of their palms. But this gesture could be very feminine and elegant. Again, you could place your elbows at the table if there's no food and then have a little touch of fingertips like this in front of you when you're listening to someone, when you're talking to someone. It also looks very feminine. And the final gesture for today's video is what is called a hand dangle. So in a way, you let your hand dangle from the wrist in a very loose manner. Uh, again, you've probably seen this in a lot of my pictures that I take from the gym where I just let my hand sort of dangle and the wrist be very loose. I think this gesture in general is very feminine. You can again place your hands on your elbows and instead of doing a hand clasp, you can go for something like a hand, on, um, a hand dangle like this from the wrist. So it looks very feminine. It lets your wrist be exposed. And as you know, the wrist is one of the most delicate parts of our body. It's a very elegant and very subtly alluring part of a body. So when we let it dangle like that or make it visible, but very briefly, it gives the sense of elegance and femininity. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope that you find these tips useful and applicable in your daily lives and that now from watching this video, you'll be more comfortable and confident in incorporating more hand gestures into your daily conversation. Also, per usual, please don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below which of these tips did you find most useful or perhaps which of these tips are you already using in your daily life or of course feel free to share some of your tips in becoming more comfortable with gesturing. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!